Welcome back to Amazing Home Hacks. Today's project is to make a three-dimensional tray for some homemade cookies. It's for my daughter who is turning 30. My wife came up with the idea of a tray shaped into the number 30 and then turned it over to me to figure out how to execute it. I use sheets of foam core, an inexpensive and versatile product available at craft shops or dollar stores. One piece of foam core is used as a backer board, another is used to create the three-dimensional numbers that will be attached to that backer. I cut it into strips about one and a half inches wide, and then I cut grooves into it every half inch or so using my table saw, with the blade set to only cut through about half the depth of the foam core. This lets you bend the foam core to shape the numbers. If you don't have a table saw, don't worry. Another way to make the foam core pliable is to use a ruler to put creases into the strips. This also lets you curve the foam into the shape that you need. Regardless of which method you use, roll up the serrated strips into coils. Then set them aside for use later on. Next, you need to create an outline of the letters onto the foam core backing board. I use a technique I learned from a teacher way back in the 8th grade. It's called block and strip. For this, you need a rectangular piece of cardboard that is the size of the height and width of the letters you want to make. Then you need a strip of cardboard that is the width that you want the letter components to be. Using the block, trace around the diameter. Then using the strip, begin to add the letter components. For both the numbers 3 and 0, you need to rough around all four sides of the rectangle the width of the strip. Then place the strip on a diagonal wherever there is a curve required. Once the basic shape of the number is blocked out, I can shorten any components necessary to complete it. Now the corners can be smoothed out a bit, and any unused pencil lines can be erased. You can create any letter or number this way, and you can make them any size you want. You can make them in italics by slanting the block. They can be traced out, cut out, used in a stencil or a banner. There's tons of uses for this simple technique. The only letters you need to alter the block shape for is M and W, where the block can be about 50% wider. And for the letter I, don't use the block, just use the strip. Now that I've created the outline I want for the number 30, it's time to use a hot melt glue gun to fasten down the flexible strips I've created. a bit of time and patience to position the strips, give them a shot of glue, and then hold them in place until that glue hardens. Work a bit at a time, trimming off the strip when you come to a hard-edged corner. To trim off the edges of the backer board, I just used some white vinyl tape. Once completed, I turned it over to my wife, the baker, to create the cookies that will complete this unique tray. 